a little bit cloudy this morning, but my son Thomas and I are going to go out and see if we can catch some of these world-class smallmouth bass that Crane Lake and Voyagers National Park is famous for. So we're going to put her on plane and let's go fishing. Big one. And the first cast, big smallmouth. Wow. It's not a real perfect topwater morning. It's a little, little breezy and we're kind of tucked in a little channel here with some islands. I met this fish. Oh man, and then hook popped out. Look at that. Nice. What a way to start us out. Dandy smallmouth. It's kind of what northern Minnesota is famous for right there, and that's why we love coming here. Good start. Maybe I'll just spot lock us here, huh? Oh, it's a walleye. Is it really? There you go. Yeah. A lot of folks will just fish live bait for these, either jigs and minnows or jigs and leeches, night crawlers, and fish on the on the reefs, but you know, we're up here in the early part of the summer and a lot of these fish are still shallow. It's a nice little walleye, beautiful golden color up here in northern Minnesota, real dark, living in the rocks. Another one. Yeah, I just slammed it. Another Bigger fish, walleye. whatever it is, might be bait. northern. I'm sure with a little bit of the breeze and the current coming through here, there's that, that's that perch X wrap. Great lure. Beautiful Crane Lake walleye, another chunky one. Look at the belly on that thing. Yeah. So we've kind of worked this whole bank and you can see right after this rock out of the water, it kind of turns to slab rock on shore. And that's not really the structure that we're looking for when we're fishing really bass shallow. Yeah, that softball basketball sized rock is what holds the bait fish, the crayfish. Those bass love that, that chunk rock. But when it turns to slab, that's when it's time to put the motor up and head to a new spot. fish right away though again I mean if they're there they eat it right away a little acrobat smiley stay down nope stop it Ooh, yeah real. not bad at all black I'll take it oh Ooh, look at that oh yeah that's a big Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, he's jumping around. <laughs> nice. There you go. Pretty. Nice small. Pretty fish. Ooh. Big brown fish. Really fun on this light setup. I got a medium light St. Croix rod here, just throwing a skitter pop. And just a, it's a, just a real fun setup. You know, it's a, it's a medium light power, fast action rod, and I've just got Suffix Advanced Mono eight pound test line on. Fish are definitely showing a preference for a popper, huh, Thomas? Yeah, definitely. And you've had more bites on that smaller profile popper than I have with this bigger one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Back of the head. And number seven skitter pop. Green Lake smallmouth. Oh. Yeah, I saw that fish last cast. I saw him swirl on it, and then nothing happened, so I cast it back. Same rock and he hit it from right under the surface as soon as it landed. Cover pop strikes again. Yeah. He's not hooked very well. There we go. Nice, that's a big one. That's our biggest of the day yeah, there. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Yeah. Crane Lake Smalley. Yeah, beauty. This isn't a huge one, but again, another one on that medium light rod, so super fun. See if I can swing them in, just a solid, solid smallmouth. And you can see the spectacular backdrop that we're fishing in here. I mean, this is Voyagers National Park, the Minnesota, Canada boundary waters. So it's such a wonderful place to fish. And what you do with Voyager houseboats is you get to Crane Lake, which is the base of operations, and that's the end of the road. You access this beautiful area by water, this is a water-based national park. You can bring your own boat, hook it up to the back of the houseboat, and tow it up the lake, or they have fishing boats for rent if you want. Uh, bring your kayaks along and all your personal items, um, your groceries and your beverages. And if there's anything that you forget while you're out on the water, there's a hospitality boat that makes daily runs up the lake and you can order by radio anything that you may have forgotten. Crane Lake, Sandpoint Lake, and Mammakin Lake is the main chain and you've got all this beautiful water to fish. A tremendous smallmouth bass as we're showing you today. And of course, walleyes, northern pike, there's some crappies, perch, 
and even a few muskies swimming around in here. So you want to get away from it all, unplug for a few days and get up into a, a spectacular wilderness setting and bring your cabin up the lake with you, your Voyager houseboat. It's a great way to enjoy a fishing vacation with family and friends. As is the case every year, an awesome time here, fishing, boating, kayaking, and catching lots of great fish in Voyager's National Park. This is a spectacular region of northern Minnesota, and the best way to enjoy it is on a Voyager houseboats vacation. You can start planning your trip by giving Jim and Gretchen Jansen and their staff a call at 1-800-88-BOATS, or you can go to houseboatvacation.com. They will help you plan every detail for your trip so you, your family, and friends can get the most out of northern Minnesota and Voyager's National Park. I'm going to join the boys for some s'mores and watch another beautiful Minnesota sunset. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.